Welcome back. So on the news this morning, I heard that about 70% of the country is struggling with inclement weather. A lot of people in Texas, Oklahoma don't have power. So in today's video, I just wanted to share with you some tools that I leverage. You know, I know that not everyone likes to go out into the back country and go hiking or camping, things like that. But I have a few things here that can really help you right now. If you're struggling with poor weather, blackouts, rolling power outages, this is a, a real issue for a lot of people. A lot of people don't have access to clean water, don't have power, can't read, can't do anything. So um, hopefully you're able to watch this video in a low resolution format. Um, but let's just dive right into the tools and I'll put links below. So the first thing that every household should have is a few headlamps. So um, this, I rely upon this all the time, irrespective of what the power is doing. But we lost power for about four days here in Seattle and our family was rocking these all the time. Like I, I realize not a lot of families have these. This is, the brand is called Petzl, P-E-T-Z-E-L. Um, I really like this. Obviously when you're hiking and camping and, and you're out in the woods, it's amazing. But uh, even like on a normal day when you do have power and you're getting up in the middle of the night, if you have to go to the bathroom or you hear a noise in your home, What's nice about this headlamp is it has a red light feature. You know, that red light doesn't disturb your body's biologic clock. So you can be in your bed. If your spouse is sleeping next to you, you can read a book and not wake them up. Or you can go to the bathroom and not throw off your whole biologic rhythm. So definitely check this out. I'll put links below. Huge fan of this. You should definitely invest in one. Okay, water is really, really important. Um, let's talk about some ways that you can filter water should your municipal water supply get perturbed. So the, the first thing that I would recommend getting and investing in is a jet boil stove. This might cost on the low end about $40 on a sale, maybe up to at most $90, okay? This is a little isopropyl alcohol. You know, it's got a little uh, burner here that screws into the bottom. And this is the, the fuel container. These cost about 19 bucks. Every household should have a couple of these. Now, please don't go out and buy a hundred of these. A lot of people when uh, COVID first hit were hoarding these and buying them by the hundred. So we didn't have any, literally the, the outdoor world had none of these over the summer because people are hoarding them. Um, so please don't hoard them, buy a couple and you should be okay. Uh, again, you can melt snow, you can make coffee with this, you can heat up some food. Uh, this is a great thing to have. Every family should have it so that you have access to the ability to, to get water. If you need to boil water, clean water. And let's talk about how you can clean water. So you can heat it. I recommend also adding a little bit of liquid iodine. I'll put links below. You need to realize my conflicts of interest. I do own a supplement brand, but I highly suggest our look at liquid iodine because it's really purified liquid iodine concentrate. It's very potent. I carry this with me all the time. So in the back country, on road trips, you know, sometimes in hotels, when you have crappy water, you're like, dude, where's this water coming from? A few drops of iodine in there can really help. It has antimicrobial properties. So that's something you should definitely, every household should have. Plus, iodine has a lot of extra thyroidal health benefits for uh, you know, brain health, uh, immune health, all of this. So every household should have this. Plus, it's very affordable. You can give it to kids. We do have uh, tablets as well. So you can travel with these. These are just, they're, they're good to have on hand, uh, even if you don't supplement them with them regularly. So those are some ways to filter water. The other thing that I recommend is a SteriPen. Now the SteriPen, this is a little bit more of an investment. Maybe not every household needs it Needs it if you have iodine, if, if you have the ability to boil water. But the SteriPen uses a, an ultraviolet light technology that can sterilize water. Uh, it can help to kill some of the microbes, uh, Yersinia, Giardia, things like that. So Listeria. So if you're traveling internationally, um, if your water supply is perturbed, like right now, I think Texas is in different counties is having issues, a SteriPen can be helpful. So it's the company is Steri, like sterilized pen, P-E-N, SteriPen. Uh, this is a great tool to have, but I will say that this has failed on me when I need it most in the back country. So that's why I always have iodine and I have my jet boil. So I can always boil, so I can heat the water, kill whatever's in there hopefully, melt snow and then add some iodine and let it sit for a minute and I'm, I'm pretty good there. Um, okay, so let's talk about another thing you can get and I'll cut to some footage of these 55 gallon rain water collection systems that we have. We have a bunch of these. Um, I give them, give the water that it collects to my chickens. You know, I'd rather have them have that than city water. And I, I know some of you have never even thought about this. Like, why would I collect rainwater? But until a, a natural disaster happens and your water supply is perturbed, um, we, we don't leave, there's, there's no impetus to invest in these technologies. But for 40 bucks, I, I bet you wish you had one of these containers right now. Um, they're, they're really great because when it's raining, you can collect some water, let it sit there. If you do nothing with it, it's fine, but at least you know you might have the ability to sterilize that water one day if you need it. So that's something that we do. 
And lastly, this is just kind of a bonus thing. I don't expect anyone to go out and buy one of these, but if you need a, a portable stove, this is a, you know, a, a wood burning stove by Seek Outdoors. I'm sorry, Seek Outside. I learned about this when I went on a hunting trip, multi-day hunting trip in the mountains with Ryan Lampers and Brian Call. And this was a great little stove. It got really hot. I had the medium unit. Um, it, it, it's awesome. So, you know, anytime the power goes out or whatever, like our family can, can, we have access to a small little stove and we can warm ourselves up. We can melt some snow, melt some water, create some water from the melted snow, that is. And it, it's liberating. I mean, you know, you may never use any of these things, but for a few hundred dollars, uh, it's worthwhile. You might sleep a little bit better at night. So those are some things that I just wanted to share with you. I'm thinking about you all that don't have power, don't have water. Uh, these are scary times. If you're if you're snowed in, these can be challenging times, and uh, it's helpful to know that you're 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 in your locus of control if you have you know the ability to to purify water, to heat yourself, um, to stay warm, all of that. And so hopefully these tools sort of helped you. I'll put links below. Check out REI. You can check out Cabela's. You can go to any outdoor supply store. You can look on Craigslist. You can look on Facebook Marketplace. Hopefully, you can find access to a, to a bunch of these different things. Use keywords like backpacking, hiking, uh, all of that. And uh, yeah, staying warm out there. Um, you're, we're thinking of you guys. And uh, thanks for watching all the way. And if you enjoy this content, please hit that like button. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. And we will catch you on a future video down the road. Until then, be well. Bye.